Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be talking about um, all things relating to Golden Goose sneaker sizes um, based on the different styles, how to make these shoes more comfortable, and lastly we'll finish the video off with tying the laces. So the important thing here is to remember to take your US size and then just put a three in front of it and that's going to be your closest um, Italian shoe size. So if you wear a size 8, you would put 3 in front of it and you'd have a 38 and that would be your Italian shoe size. So superstars are pretty true to size and that style looks like this right here. Um, I recommend if you're a half size, since Golden Goose does not make um, half sizes, I recommend that you size up to a 38 if you're seven and a half, or if you're a nine and a half, you would size up to a 40. Um, so, with that being said, the next style we'll talk about are the mid stars. And so, mid stars are fairly true to size as well. Um, I recommend keeping your normal size. Um, I, don't, I wouldn't size up or size down, although some people choose to. Um, I think it just really depends on your foot and what you find to be most comfortable, but right out of the box, um, it's going to be pretty true to size. Um, the next style we'll talk about are the high stars. So pretty much high stars are just a superstar on a platform. Um, there's not much more to them. I would say they're also true to size, so stick with your normal size. If you're a 7, wear a 37 in these. Um, and then, I don't have a, a, a actual ball star because I'm not a huge fan myself. Um, so I don't have any ball stars to show, but I'll pop a picture up of what they look like right here. Um, ball stars are true to size as well. I do hear a lot of people sizing down in these. Um, so if you're 37, they size down to 36. I don't recommend this at all. I tried it, I couldn't walk. It's not comfortable. Take your true size. Um, okay, so for the next style, we have the slide and Fun fact, I'm actually an aerospace engineer, and these are the landed edition slides. And they have, it's hard to tell, but that's supposed to be the moon here. It's like glittered and all space themed. Um, and then if you look at the bottom, it's like you're walking on the surface of the moon, kind of super cool shoes, so it's very special to me. But, um, so these actually run a little big. So a lot of people, I would say about 80% of people size down to in slides. So these right here are actually 37s and I wear 38 in superstars and other sizes, I mean in other styles that are true to size. But so um, with these, it depends totally on the make of the shoe. So with this shoe right here, um, the suede toe is gonna give a little bit more than if it was a leather toe. So I sized down to a 37 for a more comfortable fit um, to not have my foot feel like it's flopping at the front. We don't want clown feet. But with my pink highlighter slides, which I'll pop a picture up here because um, I don't have them in here, I actually stayed my true 38 size in those. And so it's because that leather toe, that leather is very, very tough. Um, and it definitely takes quite a bit of wear to wear them down to break them in. Um, so I, st I sized up in a slide to a 38. So the next sneaker we'll talk about or the next style we'll discuss is the Francie. Francie has literally won my heart. I used to think they were so ugly, but now they're my absolute favorite style. Um, and I am consistently buying more. It's a problem. But with Francie, they also run a little big, just slightly, but it's not enough that I would recommend sizing down, but quite a few people do. Um, but I say my true size in a 38, which I'm always going to, I will almost always recommend that you say your true size if you're unsure of what size to get. So like I said, if you don't know what size to get and you wear an eight, just stick with a 38 and it most likely will fit. Um, but Francie's are very, very fun pairs. They're pretty much a superstar with an extended lid at the, at the top. 
Um, and I'll make a video on how these are different from slides and uh, mid-stars because that's a common question. Um, but the next style we'll talk about are these Mays. So here we are. This is the May sneaker. They're a lot less popular. Um, Golden Goose doesn't seem to make many of these anymore. I don't know if they're slowing down production or stopping production, but they are some of my absolute favorite sneakers that they make. Super comfortable. Um, but so these actually run pretty small, about a whole size small. So in these, I wear a 39. And for a reminder, I wear a 38 in Superstars. So I sized up in these. Um, I don't know what it is. I think it's because the insole is um, pretty flat compared to the, it's still got a little heel on it, but it's pretty flat compared to say a Superstar or a High Star insole, which looks like this. So I think that's why, um, part of the reason for the size difference. Okay, two more styles we'll discuss. So these are the running soles. Um, and these are, they're very heavy for starters. Um, but not only are they heavy, they run pretty big. So I would recommend sizing down. I wear 37 in these. Um, these two have a different insole. Let's see. So it's one of those fairly flat insoles as well. Um, not much of a heel to it. So like I said, you should definitely size down in these. Although I will say if you did stick with your true size, um, just by tightening the laces up right here, if you just tighten them up and then knock them at the end, in which I'll talk about how to tighten shoes and everything in a little bit. But if you just tighten them up um, and you have your true size or the same size that you would wear in a superstar, you can definitely make um, your regular size work in a running sole. You don't have to size down. I just prefer to, but you can absolutely make it work. Um, my mom, we actually have these. We both have them together because I like to match her sometimes. Um, but she has a 38 in them and I have a 37 and I've tried hers on and I can, I can still wear those. So don't be afraid to stick with your true size as well because sometimes we just have to work with what we can get. And so the last style I'll discuss the sizing on is the Pure Star. Um, Pure Stars are so slept on. They're literally one of my favorite styles. I have two pairs and yes, the only difference is the heel tab but um, they're my favorites. These are true to size. The insoles, do not try to take these out of these shoes. They do not come out, um, but this is what they look like on the inside. Yeah, and it looks like I haven't worn these, but I have. But um, yeah, true to size. Uh, so you're 38 in Superstars, stick to a 38 in these. Now, moving right along, let's talk about comfort. So. When people ask me, are Golden Goose sneakers super comfortable? I'm not gonna lie to you, no. They're not the most comfortable shoe I've ever worn, but I still love them, so I'm still wearing them. Anywho, but if I did have to rank them based on comfort, the number one most comfortable Golden Goose that there is are the Pure Stars. They have a very cushiony insole. Um, I mean, straight out of the box, there's no breaking in to do. You just put them on and go. They're my absolute favorite. So if you're looking for comfort, but you still want to try Golden Goose, definitely check out the Pure Stars. Um, most people actually start off with a Superstar or a Midstar. It's very rare that they start off with different sizes. I meant different styles of these sneakers. So I'm going to give you a few tips and tricks that you can do to make them more comfortable um, because sometimes they're just not that great out of the box. So what Superstars? So people don't actually think about this, but you have leather toes and then you have suede toes. So a thing to keep in mind, I know they look the same, but this one is leather, uh, if we can get to this. and this one is so suede. This one is suede. Um, so yeah, a trick for comfort is actually to buy a suede toe as your first pair. Um, I find suede toes to be a lot more comfortable straight out of the box than I do the leather ones because they're a lot less tight in the toe box. So um, when you are deciding to buy your first pair or 
um, even a second or third pair that you're looking to find a little bit more comfort, comfort than before, definitely check out suede toes. So pay attention to small details like that. Um, another trick you can do, and this works with pretty much any of your um, sneakers, is to stick these large band-aids. Um, and I'll just open it so you guys can see what it looks like. So, when I first got these, I was trying to figure out what in the world I could do to quit making, um, quit getting blisters. So, I went and got these large band-aids, and all you do is you just un uh, take this sticky tape or paper off, and then what you'll want to do is you'll want to put the, um, the side that you would normally see on your arm or something, that will be on your toe. So you'll take it like this and stick it into the shoe and put it all the way at the bottom so that it will end up like right here because this is the area that's probably going to hurt the most between your, uh, by your pinky toe and those uh, last three toes. So you'll just stick it in there and then slip your foot in and keep going. And I guarantee you that will be way more comfortable. Um, and I've done this trick for so many of my shoes and I've been able to wear them for hours up this work. I've been able to wear them for hours, whereas before I could only wear them for about up to an hour and then I was miserable. So that's another trick. And then the last trick I have is something that I've not done, but many, many of my clients um, do it and say it works. So what you do is, is you take your shoe and you blow dry the inside of it. And then you take and put on as many thick socks as you can get on your foot and stick your foot into the shoe and then blow dry some more and then take your, sh uh, your shoe out and then wear them. And then you can continue to repeat that process over and over again and it will slowly begin to stretch and the shoe will give a little bit so that they're more comfortable in your toe area. So with that, that's all the safety tips I have. All right, and so the last thing we'll talk about is tying laces. So this trick that I'm gonna show you, I actually um, first saw from a guy named Mike, and I wanna say he worked at like a Nashville Nordstrom or Neiman Marcus, one of those two department stores. But this little tip he came up with is genius. So what you do is, actually let me tell you the reason for it first. So most people, when they get these shoes, they don't wanna tie them because that's just kinda of not the edgy look that Golden Goose has. So they're like, okay, well, I tighten them up and I've got all of this excess lace. What do I do with it? And so you try to knot it and then you still have a ton of lace and they're dragging. And they just get dirty and all grimy. So what you can do is you can take your first two um, laces here, or I don't know, crisscrosses of your laces, and you can stick it, pull your insole out, Sorry, it's tough. So you pull your insole out and then you can stick the laces up under here. And I am not great at this, but we make it work. <laughs> so yeah, you stick your laces under here and then you just slide it back in. And then you can tighten them up as much as you want. And so once you get them to the tightness that you like, you can pull, pull, and now you have no excess laces and your shoes are as tight as you want them. So yeah, thanks to Mike uh, from either Nordstrom or Neiman Marcus and Nashville. Yeah, so with that, that's gonna end our video today, guys. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this and learned something new about these shoes and maybe, um, those burning sizing, sizing questions have been answered for you. I sure hope so. Um, if you do have another style that you were interested in and you weren't sure about how they, um, how the sizing works on those and I didn't include them, be, uh, feel free to either message me on Instagram, uh, which is at buying for Brie, and it'll be in the description box, or feel free to comment on the video um, and let me know the size and your, or the style in your US size. Um, but yeah, so with that, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!